Hey guys, this is Seth Turin with UBOT Studio and I just wanted to show you real quick some of the new features in UBOT Studio Enterprise Edition. The main focus in UBOT Studio Enterprise Edition is cryptocurrency and all of the ways that you can make money with it. Now the cheapest way to get your money in and out of crypto is through Coinbase. And that's why we have the Coinbase commands. And I don't want to get too deep into these but we can send crypto from Coinbase, for instance into our DeFi wallet. We can exchange crypto on Coinbase or perhaps buy crypto with uh, USD. We can also check our balance. We can get a list of all our transactions and we can also get the data for one transaction. But today let's take a look at DeFi. DeFi stands for Decentralized Finance and in the crypto universe this is the thing that's going to break the current model of finance that's going to revolutionize the way we think about money. Because with DeFi you can take one form of currency, say USDC, and you can exchange it for another currency, say USDT, without any centralized organization, without a bank, without Coinbase. These tokens are always owned by you. You own the keys and all of it gets exchanged directly through the blockchain. So here on Trader Joe, which is our decentralized exchange, I'm looking at a swap between USDC and USDT. But maybe I don't want to make this through the website. Maybe I want a bot to do this exchange for me. So let's go to UBOT Studio. And we're going to start with our config DeFi wallet. All right, now it's going to ask for your private key. The way that you get this is through your wallet. So I'm using MetaMask. I highly recommend it. And if we click the three dots here, then we can say account details and we can export our private key. All right, let's go back to UBOT. Click OK. And now let's say swap tokens. The exchange we're going to say Trader Joe. The token in will say USDC. The token out will say USDT. And for the amount let's say one dollar. Now I want to show you this advanced parameter here. This is transaction info. And after we run this command all of our transaction data is going to go into this variable. So let's hit OK. And I'm just going to set up an alert. And I'm going to find my transaction info variable and click OK and we're going to run this. So let's click run and now here's all of that transaction data. All right and this data is actually stored in a UBOT object and this is a brand new feature with UBOT Enterprise. For instance let's say I just want to grab this hash code right here. So let's close out of this and I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want to make that transaction again. We'll edit our alert command. And now I'm going to look under data functions and I'm going to grab object entity. And for my object variable I'm going to choose transaction info and for my entity path I'm just going to type hash and click OK. Give this run and there it is. There's just my hash. And these objects are very versatile. I can also create my own objects or I can change specific entities within an object. One last thing I'm going to show you. I'm going to go back to my browser decentralized exchanges work through this idea of liquidity pools. Since we don't have a central bank to offer us liquidity, anybody can offer liquidity. And your reward for doing that is you get a percentage of all of the transactions. Now UBOT has the ability to automatically invest in liquidity pools. So I'm going to get rid of this alert and I'm going to go back to my bot bank. I'm going to say add liquidity and we're going to add liquidity for USDC and USDT and we're going to add one dollar of each and again we're going to have our transaction info and click OK and just so we can see what's going on let's add an alert add a variable let's give this a run and I just realized the exchange is wrong so let's edit this and change that to Trader Joe click OK and now we can run it all right and here is our transaction data so we are now officially providing liquidity for USDC and USDT and we will actually make money for providing that liquidity over time. And I'm going to jump back over to Trader Joe and if you look down here this is our liquidity pool. I'm going to click it and now you can see if I go to remove this is the amount of liquidity that I own. So I can remove this here or I can go back and I can do it in UBOT Studio. And I'll explain all of this a lot better in future videos. And guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We are still actively developing this. We're adding new commands. There's so many things you can do on the blockchain to make money. And until now, blockchain programming could only be done by very few people. 
But now with Ubot Studio Enterprise, anybody can make very advanced blockchain bots. Alright guys, that's it. I'll see you next time.